in our earlier video uh, we took a few rational numbers examples of a few rational numbers and we found the decimal representations of those rational numbers and in the process we saw that decimals could be uh, classified into terminating decimals ones which terminated like for example we saw 0.875 this was obtained by uh, this the representation of 7 by 8 and we also saw that some decimals were non-terminating and recurring isn't it in fact uh, we saw the example of 1 by 999 right 1 by 999 uh, this was a uh, non-terminating and this 001 was repeating in fact uh, since all integers are also rational numbers you may get the question can integers be represented as decimals of course 2 is an integer and it can be written as 2.0 35.0 all integers are of course they fall in this terminating decimal category now we had a question at the end of the video what was it it was uh, yeah it got uh, pasted on top of that yeah can any decimal can any decimal one could think of you think of a decimal just like we did in our earlier video we thought of some fraction and we found the uh, decimal representation now can any decimal one could think of be expressed as a fraction the converse of our earlier video is that also true can any decimal one could think of be expressed as a fraction now this video we are mainly going to explore this so let's consider a few decimals first one let it be simple uh, 3.57 yeah two decimal places so it can be written as 357 by 100 which is in the form p by q it's a rational number right it's a fraction now let's consider a recurring decimal uh, let it be 0 0.7 bar which which means actually 0 0.777 which is non-repeating so can this be converted into a fraction let's try if you call this as some uh, x what is your 10x 10x would be just eliminating one decimal place it would be 7.777 or 7.7 bar so what is 10x minus x it is equal to you subtract this 7.77 or let me write it as 7.7 .7 bar which is easier for us and uh, subtract it minus 7.7 .7 bar minus 0 0.7 bar so what do you get you just get 7 right uh, the numbers after the decimals they just they are subtracted so you just get 7 or which means 9x is equal to 7 or your this decimal 0 0.7 bar can be uh, x is equal to 7 by 9 can be represented as a fraction 7 by 9 so in this case also yes we could represent it as a fraction in this second case also yes we could represent it as a fraction let me try one more a recurring a bunch of uh, recurring decimals what i mean is 0 0.125 bar or this is actually 0 0.125125125 so on so the same argument the same argument taking this to be equal to x so to eliminate uh, let us uh, see what is 1000 x it would be equal to 125 point this recurring decimal 1251251125 so what is 1000 x minus x which is 999 x right this is equal to 125 because you subtract this minus this you just do it and check yourselves you get 125 or you can represent this uh, decimal as 0 0.125125125 as 125 by 999 so yes this decimal 
0.125 bar could also be represented as a fraction so we are we are on our journey towards answering this question can any decimal one could think of be expressed as a fraction so yes we have an answer now maybe it's a partial answer terminating decimals can be thought of as a fraction non terminating recurring decimals can be thought of as a fraction what if one thinks of a decimal which does not fall in these two categories do such decimals exist can you think of such a decimal which does not which is not a terminating decimal which is not a non terminating recurring decimal so can you think of such a decimal if one if you can think of a decimal which does not fall in this category then we still have some work to do to prove or to disprove to prove or to disprove or to say yes or no to this question but if one can't think of any other decimal other than these two terminating and non terminating recurring decimal then you have a definite answer now now it's left to you can you think of a decimal which does not fit into these two categories which does not fit into these two these two categories can you think of so please think about it till we meet in our next video and we answer this question this question so does any other decimal exist is what you have to think about thank you